Hello, Chloe here from Border River Flowers. I just remembered I didn't bring my mic and I probably should have brought my mic. But anyway, it's a nice still day at this point. I'm going to try and bring you along. So it is the Sunday before Valentine's Day. Been doing a bit of cleaning up. Got my sister and my husband's help to try and get on top of a few um, weeding and prepping a bed for more seedlings to go in today just to try and yeah get back on top a bit i've got a long list of jobs that i'm a little way behind on and um yeah just trying to get back on top of them again try and show you a little bit of footage between now and wednesday um i'm not sure what bits we'll be able to show you i'm going to try and get a bit of the harvest i'm going to harvest some flowers now hopefully um the sun's just decided to come back out but it's been a bit overcast it's only three o'clock so normally i wouldn't be able to harvest until at least five to six and then i'm rushing around trying to get it done before it goes dark or doing it first thing i prefer to do it early in the morning but i need to be making the bouquets tomorrow morning to go to our local town of tenerfield the lady has the fruit shop there, gets flowers from me, and I put them at a hairdresser's there. They just let me sell them there. I'm going to get, I, I'm a little bit short on flowers. Well, I've got a lot of flowers, but I want to take a decent amount that way, being just before Valentine's Day. I'm hoping that sales will be up a little bit. So I think I've got enough flowers here of my own to cover that. I've got a bit of a gap at a terrible time because we had a downpour of rain a few weeks ago and the dahlias got very unhappy about that. And I've lost a fair few and the ones that I haven't lost have, it's just knocked them back weeks. And so I was aiming to have them really starting to pump out the flowers about now and, um, when they got hit by the rain they just started flowering so they would have they would have been in full swing of flowers now and unfortunately I don't have any and it doesn't look like I'm going to have any for at least a few more weeks yet so it set them back I'd say probably at least four probably closer to six weeks unfortunately so I'm going to harvest what I've got take it Tenerfield way then there's a lady near Tenerfield that grows dahlias and roses I'm going to get a couple of buckets of those off her and take them the opposite direction um, to a boutique store at Texas she orders off me fairly regularly so she wants flowers for valentine's day so i'll take them that direction so i've got a busy few days ahead just like i'm sure everybody does and um yeah i just want to try and catch a bit of it for you to show you i've had comments wanting to see a harvest which is some it's usually pretty difficult because i'm usually rushing to get it done in the cool of the day we've just been so hot i've heard like so many people talking about how their summers down south have been cooler than normal we're hot just no break at this stage it's just hot all the time and really humid so um yeah that probably hasn't helped with some of our lack of flower situation but I'll show you a little bit of what we got done this morning, what we're aiming to do and try and catch a bit of this harvest, which I'm hoping, I was hoping the sun was going to disappear behind clouds again shortly because I don't really like picking when it's this warm still. So I might have to wait a little bit. I might do a bit more weeding while I wait for it to cool down a little bit more to be able to actually do the harvesting. But we'll see how we go. The other thing with trying to get our harvest in, if it's a bit warmer or any doing any of our videos outside, it's hot, the phone doesn't like it, it overheats and then we can't video. So these are our dahlias here, you can see how tiny they still are. This here was all weedy, no not that, that's Lizzie's there, but this was all weedy this morning, we just pulled the weed mat up and we're actually going to put compost and sugarcane mulch on this ready to plant in another lot of um lysianthus into this 
but we're going to trial it without the weed mat because I would prefer to not use the weed mat, but just because we have such um, invasive weeds, I've just had to at this up until this point. Um, but I hope because I've had it on here for a season and it's been so warm that we might have that to a point where um, hopefully there will be less weeds coming up in that. So we're going to give that a trial, just the one bed. So these are our Lizzie's here. We'll be harvesting them. Then I've got zinnias down here, gumfrina, a little bit of celosia, and that's about it for my flowers at the moment. But yeah, we got this all weeded and the mat lifted up this morning. We're just going to bring come through with the digging fork and loosen it up a bit and add in our compost and um, some sugar cane mulch. We're going to mix a little bit of the sugar cane mulch in and then put some on top as well to help with the weeds. And then this here, we've gotten, my sister did most of this, weeded that, and it, it, it's bad. I let it get way overgrown with weeds, got way behind. So that's the rest of that bed and the weeds. So it'll be good when we've got them back under control oh, I've got a few um of the next succession of gladdies coming through here as well see my phone's already telling me that it's too hot so this one here is just it's starting to look okay it's got a bud but it's still it's not a very big bush um so the stress I think has caused them to go to go to flower a bit soon but see ones like this were doing amazing and then they just got knocked right back um lost a lot of their leaves and just took quite some time to recover and then there's others like these that were just lost altogether. Now we're getting a shower of rain but it is still sunny and hot. Okay so I've been doing a bit more weeding because the sun came out and it was really hot so it's about nearly four o'clock now and I'm going to try and get a little bit at least if I can get these lizzies um, harvested, that would be good.
it is the next morning, so Monday morning. Um, I finished harvesting yesterday, but my phone ran out of out of battery before I finished, so I didn't catch all of it. I um, picked some, finished picking the zinnias and picked some celosia and gumfrina. And now I'm just uh, out the paddock looking for some foliage. We've got some little fresh eucalyptus coming back off um, the roots of trees. My husband did some stick raking. Some of it, a fair bit of it's probably going to be a bit soft still. Um, and when the eucalyptus is too soft, it just wilts. But it's a lovely overcast cool day. It's the first cool day we've had in quite a while. So that's nice. So yeah, let's see what we can find. So this is where I am. And this is ones like this. Because all our old, even this has got a bit of eaten a bit, but all our older, bigger eucalyptus, there's plenty of it, but most of it's like chewed. I'm not sure what likes it, but there's you can't usually find much that's worth using. The cows have heard the bike, so now they're searching around for their calves. But yeah, I'll see see what I can get from... Just these little ones shooting back up off, off the roots. My exercise for the day. I just kept wandering down from spot to spot. And you're a long way away before you realise it. <laughs> so I'll go back and collect all my piles now. I did a bit of a clean up in here yesterday. I've still got a whole heap of stuff sitting in that corner, but these are the flowers I harvested yesterday. And I've just got quickly rush and do an order. It smells amazing in here because of that. Rush and do an order, um, last minute order for someone to pick up in half an hour. So I'm going to do that. that last minute order done ready for pickup I'm just going to take it down to the cellar door for them to pick it up from there okay it is Tuesday morning and I've kind of had a bit of a um, hiccup in the process so I'm out getting a bit more stuff to fill my orders to go the other direction to Texas today I didn't have enough to fill those orders so I sourced flowers from another grower and I was excited about uh, supporting another um, local grower there up in the tenor field and so yeah I was excited about supporting them but sadly the quality just isn't there so I can't use some of the flowers that I was supplied is really sad so I'm out finding a bit more see what else is ready in my garden that I might be able to pick and get a bit more foliage I'm out raiding the millet paddock again so most of it's all been I don't know if you can see that but it's been cut all this here's been cut and made into hay and so this is just a bit in the gully where it was too wet for the tractor to get to cut and bale it. So I'm going to get a bit of this and then go and see what's in the garden that um, is ready to be picked.
So this is what I managed to find out of my garden. Just a few lizzies that I opened up since I harvested last. A few zinnias. A couple of pieces of status. And gumfrina. And millet. Plus there's this other native grass. I've got a few of it. It's a little bit um, more feathery. Um, and then I got a couple of stems of sorghum but they're quite bulky only got a couple of stems then just to see how they work so I got the gum freena and my grass is all cleaned up and two bunches there and my son being always in I just started making the neck making more bunches so I'll bring you along for that
so we are done with our second lot of flower making bouquet making I should say not flower making and this is the result so these dahlias and the roses are the ones I got from another flower farmer I got some black paper in and it looks um, really lovely with the pinks and the reds. So besides making a couple of bouquets for an event that is happening at the cellar door here on the property tomorrow night, I'm done with all the flowers for Valentine's Day and my body is feeling it. I'm sore. <laughs> but I hope we caught enough of it for you to enjoy this. Come along with us. It's... Tuesday afternoon, so I'll make those other couple of bouquets probably tomorrow afternoon. I've got to go and check some cattle and do some cleaning and washing, everything that's gotten behind while I've been busy. But we hope you enjoy this. If you haven't already, subscribe. Please subscribe, comment and like our post. Share with anyone who you, would, who you think may um, enjoy our channel. And we're going to do a little introduction in the coming weeks, another renewed introduction, I guess you could say, because we've got quite a lot more subscribers over the last month or so. Yeah, we thought that might be good to do that again. And yeah, we'll be, we'll be seeing you again in the next one. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.